All right, today I'm going to show you how you can change the text of a label based on the on the text of a text box. So I'll show you how we can do that. So let's open Xcode and we'll create a new Xcode project. It will be a single view app, iOS application. And let's just call it a label text. And let's make sure it's Swift and iPhone. And I'm just going to create. Okay, so first thing we need to do is go to main.storyboard, which is our interface builder. And I'm going to hide this panel right here because we do not need it right now. Also going to go into full screen and maybe we'll change to an SE here. There we go. Okay, so first off, let's let's drag on a text box. So search for text over here. Just drag on text box. Okay, let's make it a little bigger so we can enter more text if needed. There we go. Center it. Okay, and then we'll want to search for a button. And I'm going to call this um, Y text. And then let's drag on a label. And I'm going to make it a little bigger. And I'm going to center the text. And I'm going to say, waiting for user to apply text. That's what it's going to say at first. OK, and then to make sure our layout will look good, <clears throat> let's um, click this little button down here. Oops, first, sorry, we've got to select the view controller. Then click the button here. And then we'll say add missing constraints under all views in view controller. Click that. And that should, that should, yeah, that added all our missing constraints. So this will make sure our user interface will look good on, on any screen size, basically. Okay, let's hide this panel here and this panel and open the assistant editor to reveal our code. So I'm going to start off by selecting this text box and clicking control on my Mac and then clicking and dragging to my code. I'm going to call this text box simply text box. Make sure it's an outlet. Connect. And then for let's go ahead and do the label next. And we'll say um, we're going to call this applied um, text. We'll connect that as well. Now we're going to do the same thing for the button, except that it's going to be an action instead. So we'll click that. And then let's say um, apply text. And then let's make some room in here. We'll be typing code inside the brackets. Okay, and basically what we're going to do is we're going to say applied text dot text equals text box dot text. Basically what it's saying, what that's saying is that this label, the text in this label needs to be set to be the text that's in this label. So which would mean that any text that's in this I'm sorry, text box. Any text that would be in this text box would be written onto this label. Okay? So let's get out of full screen here, and I'm going to go ahead and build this. Show the simulator here. Okay, and this should bring up the app moment here. I think I'm I meant, yeah, I meant to boot on the SE, but that's okay. It'll just take a little longer. There it is. And here is the app. Okay. And I'm going to add some text. Um, sure, Afghanistan. Apply text, and then it changes the text. We can do something else, like, uh, I don't know. Um, we can apply the text. There it goes. So basically, that's how you would create an app that would take text from the text box and put it into a label.